now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Good Thursday morning and happy Groundhog Day. Our weather will remain quiet and fairly sunny as we head throughout the day. Today we'll have the final ruling on the groundhogs coming up a little bit later in the newscast. It is going to be a or strong cold front. It's going to cross or across the area as we head into Friday morning. That will deliver an Arctic blast. Be prepared for temperatures to hold in the 20s and those feels like temperatures at times could be close to zero degrees. So that's uncomfortable. So that's why we're making tomorrow an impact day. But this cold doesn't hold. It will be a cold day on Saturday, but temperatures return to the 40s by Sunday and then into the 50s for early parts of next week. Taking a live look right now. Beautiful blue skies on our Lancaster sky cam winds are light, but they do have a little bit of a punch right now. 37 is the air temperature, but it feels like it's just 30 degrees. Looking at Quarryville in our back background mixture of sunshine and high clouds milder today compared to yesterday will top off in the lower 40s overnight tonight. The clouds arrive and after midnight, that's when the cold front gets here may see a few isolated snow showers. It will start to turn windy and then temperatures will not recover. We're just going to hover in the mid to upper 20s through the day feels like temperatures while the sun is up. It's going to feel like it's in the teens may see a few flurries or possibly even a snow squall or a shower and winds could gust as high as 35 miles per hour. Wind chills, those feels like temperatures will drop closer to zero as we get past sunset. So here's a breakdown of the temp temperatures tomorrow. They're in the 20s, but there's the wind chill down into the teens throughout the day and then into the single digits closer to zero by late tomorrow evening. It's not going to be record breaking cold, but certainly something we haven't experienced for a while. Forecasting a low of 10 on Saturday. The record is one below Saturday's coldest high. We're forecasting uh, where the forecast is 28, but the record is 15 degrees set back in 1996. Here's Here's a look at the current winds relatively light and out of the south. Temperatures are sitting in the mid to upper 30s across the valley. There's the intense cold and the storm track has been off down to our south and you can see the series of storms still impacting the deep south. You can see that freezing rain that ice in parts of Arkansas in Texas. But for us, it's this large and in charge ridge of high pressure keeping all this moisture and activity off down to our south as we go on into the weekend. So not much happening out there as you look at the predictor there there's that cold front. Notice out ahead of it, possibly a snow shower or some flurries. Front moves on by. We'll keep the chances for some flurries as we head through the rest of our Friday. So cold out there through the day on Friday. The winds will not be as intense, but still going to be cold out there for your high on Saturday. But look what happens on Sunday. We're back into the mid 40s and then into the 50s we go mid next week with increasing chances for some showers late Tuesday into Wednesday.